my house and wanting to throw up because it looks so ugly. <laughs> so now was the time, and I am very happy that last weekend I actually took the time to get rid of all the Christmas decorations. <laughs> the season. And maybe make it look a little bit springy. Perfect. So if this is your door, and this is a lovely modern looking very door modern. and home, let's talk a little bit about what you can do to brighten up the outside with the urns using plants and flowers. For sure, and I think the very first step, and this is surprisingly what so many homeowners overlook, yeah. is actually stepping back and looking at your actual house. Mm -hmm. So take some time and really investigate the facade, and you were likely drawn to the home for a reason. This one's much more uh, modern yeah. and contemporary. So I think one of the most important things you can do to really accentuate the front of your home is to pick your planter accordingly. Okay. So I find so many people default to the classic black urn or for a more modern home. Something yeah, they come like in red this. And white too, they come in different colors. Well, that's a stretch for some people. A yeah. lot of people still yeah. really enjoy that classic black urn look. And this seems to be the go to for modern. Right. Almost the scapegoat. Yeah. So, my thought with this is if you already have one, add a couple more. Okay. And what I think the important thing is, is to add some asymmetry to more modern homes. So you don't need planters on either side. Mm. Create a little cluster. And what I also think is really important, a lot of people get so caught up with modern, with going very linear and square. Yeah. Throw in that round one. Mm -hmm. It just adds that little touch of interest to the front of the home that, you know, makes it look like you've really given it some thought and not just gone for the go-to planter. Yeah, I'm and just, I'm looking at you right now because I went to the go-to planter. <laughs> That's so okay, we can I get you to the next step, right? I, I love the different heights of this. Exactly. And that's the other thing people don't do and then switching up the shapes, it just, it looks really good. And, and it's only doing it on one side. Only on one side. To, you know, no. play with some asymmetry. Door. Now, when it comes to flowers, I think you need to pick the flower to go with the planter. You the planter got matches okay. the facade, so this is where Frankie uh, comes also in. also want to let you know, in terms of feng shui, this is supposed to be a poison arrow, so when you put a round one, it's supposed to give a more positive vibe. Ooh. Oh, look at for that. For the entrance of your home. Oh, so okay. just to kind of so give you a little... So maybe we need to do this. Yeah, yeah. So if we do that, we block the poison arrow. There, honestly, perfect. that's what, that's honestly perfect. what they would look for. So I feel much better arrow. about this now. I've been trying to block the poison arrows all my life. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about uh, adding some plants that have some structure. And of course, with this, Sheridan brought together some of the collections. And what that's we have nice. here is, this is called Agapanthus. This is uh, more related down to California. This is what you would see in that area. Yeah. you got some nice foliage that's in there. And as well, you have some coleus. And this is the baby Kong. So very nice. And then we would just with the collection, we're just going to start to blend it out and add a little bit more of the the same color that's in there. I just got some inserts that are popped in, so I'm just going to make sure they don't slide down. I love the height on these. And yeah, what we're going to do. And that's the other thing you have to think about. If you've got a really, you know, high door, you, you don't want teeny tiny flowers exactly. in your urns. It's going to look like they're drowning. It makes sense to go with a big, a big bushel and a lot of height. Yeah, and if you look at the gray to bluey tone of brick, yeah. the reason why we went with the agapanthus and also we put a little bit of a lupin in there. This is a perennial that's only going to last a short period it's of time. It's beautiful though. But it is I beautiful. Really like and some plants, you got to treat them like a bottle of wine. Okay. You're going to enjoy them for a little Drink bit of time. Drink it quickly. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you're going to enjoy it for a little bit of time. And what mm -hmm. you can do is this last planter, you can switch those plants out to create a new look every once in a while so people come over and it's always the nice new fresh look. I like that idea. So every time my plant dies, I just go refresh it. There you go. You just go and refresh I'll just it. say that it's a decor thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're I gonna wanted get that to switch up the look. Yeah. Thank you so very much. So we're going to go and show you another little modern one. Now, you're right. mentioning height, and I think so many people get caught up with having to have the tall planter and the yeah. tall floral, but this is my new favorite thing for especially a modern uh, exterior. Elevating with more of a gallery type uh, pedestal. So nice. in this case, we haven't gone uh, for sure not you, with the traditional urn. Do you want me to keep urn. going? Uh, sure, we can keep going. No, you go we, ahead. And succulents, and Frankie and yeah. I both agree, succulents are kind of like the They're cool succulents. thing. succulents. They are so succulents. There's something about them. And I love them. We were joking before, I have no green thumb. So for yeah. these, these are pretty hard to kill off, right? Yeah, drought tolerant, oh, uh, very right. modern. Right away, I think of Scottsdale, Arizona. You think exactly. of heat, hot. Exactly. Yeah. So I love them raised in the bowl, but check yeah. these out. So these are wool hangings. I think. Get your That's mind even beautiful. beyond the planter. There's the little one here. If you have enough room to do this, like exactly. this is a beautiful idea. And can you imagine Where your the house come numbers? From? These are from Chentro. These planter planters I and all of the um, the succulents, which I just think are perfect. And yeah, your house numbers. You can tie this into your exterior decor. Yeah, it's just a nice alternative beyond the planter. So think about your planter to fit your facade, and then even think beyond the box for dressing your your home. I love the fact that you said these are low maintenance because you also have to think of what kind of gardener you are. Exactly. And you 
want you don't necessarily want a high maintenance thing going on out here if that's well, not your thing. And the other part too is that water conservation is so important right now. Right. And with that, if you're somebody that wants to go more on the green side and be very water savvy and water wise, these are something that require very minimal water. They will last for several seasons. This one here, because it's got the jade, can actually come indoors. Right. You pull out this one variety here, which is a perennial that can pop in your garden. Okay. Um, but it's really smart in terms of being water conservation. Very nice. All right, it's our gardening special. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up.